All right, guys, welcome back. My name's John. If you haven't been here before, thank you for stopping by. If you were a return visitor, we really do appreciate it. Today is Saturday. The hurricane, Hurricane Helene, came through um, our area on Thursday afternoon and evening. And we didn't get a lot of rain. We did get some wind. Um, I think they said up to 60 or 70 mile an hour gusts. But the big problem we had was storm surge. Um, our marina, which is only ever flooded once with about maybe a foot of water when Debbie came through, had 34 inches of water in it, and there's at least a couple hundred boats on the bottom level that all had their drain plugs removed, um, you know, when they get put away for storage. So my boat is one of the ones that's on the bottom, and I went by yesterday morning on the way to work, and water level line was was up pretty high so I'm going to assume I may have some damage in my bilge area. I assume the bilge pump probably worked for a while until the, the battery got killed. The water level is about at least a foot, foot and a half above where the um, drain plug is so we're going to go down and assess, see what kind of condition the bilge is in. Hopefully um, it's not too bad because there is a lot of wiring in there. Um, there's the macerator pumps. There's lab well pumps. The most important thing is our steering pumps are in there and they're electric hydraulic steering pumps. So we'll see how far the water got up in there. Hopefully it didn't make it to those pumps because those are kind of expensive. So we're going to go down and check that out and pray for the best. We'll see you when we get down there. All right, we are pulling into the marina now. And luckily the building is pretty good. We did lose some of the siding from the roof up there. Came down in the storm. The big thing is the water got way up here. So as it receded, it left all this debris down here. And at this point up here is probably I'd say eight foot above the normal high tide level. And it made quite a mess. So, I got my boat out already, that's good. All right, let's see what the damage is. So as you can see, here's the water line. That's a mixture of diesel fuel, oil, bark mulch, etc. Like I said, it got about a foot and a half above the drain hole. Um, luckily, the boat, when it's on the lift, is a, at a little bit of an angle. So let's get inside and see what it looks like. All right, it's going to be a little loud. don't really see a water line with the diesel oil mixture. So I don't know if it really got that bad in mine. This pump was already a little corroded, but some cleaning supplies and see what happens. Kind of slow going out here. Rain keeps Slowing me down. Trying to wait to pressure wash the boat. At least on the outside. Got some of the bilge cleaned out. We'll clean it out some more. All right, let's see how we did. That all cleaned up. That's been overdue. Didn't really have much in the bilge, but I went ahead and 
cleaned it all up, bilge cleaner and everything. Still gotta rinse it out a little bit more. But uh, I think we're good. The only issue I have is maybe something electrical going on here. This is the ram that opens the, the hatch to the bilge and doesn't seem to be working properly. So we'll have to figure that out. All right, now we gotta clean the outside of the boat. I cleaned the other side of the boat already. I'm gonna get all this scum line off. This is not from the flooding. It's just from sitting in the water overnight. We're in a brackish water up at the marina. You can see I've cleaned this side already. It's a lot better than what it did. Got the boat all clean. Guys were nice enough at the marina to put it on the lift so I could uh, clean the underside too. Get all that grease and grime off. Plus I got all the staining off the boat. Thank you everybody for tuning in. And I want to give a huge thank you to the everybody at the marina. They worked their butts off the last couple of days to get everything cleaned up so we can open back up. Everybody likes to enjoy their time on the water. They had quite a bit of work to do. This was way worse than Hurricane Debbie. Like I said, the water came up probably about eight foot over the high tide line. And they had 34 inches of standing water inside the barn. This was the only boat that had an issue floating away. Some of the jet skis also did. But they got everything cleaned up now. Be ready for opening probably on Monday. Still have a little bit more cleaning to do and some maintenance items to take care of. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you back out on the water soon.